good morning, Eric. This is a demo video for you for your very cool MHS uh, cross guard. Let me take my wedding ring off first because I don't want to clamp it up against this bare aluminum and scratch it. But yeah, this is installed with a CFX. You had first sent this over to my buddy Robert, <clears throat> excuse me, over at Sorox Sabres. He went ahead and he drilled a hole for you. It's a 12 millimeter hole and he made this dual aluminum uh, tactile switch. So your your top switch is your power, your bottom is your auxiliary. Um, and then there's something else going on with this switch I'll explain to you here in a second. Okay, You've got a Carl Chen PCB in there for your NeoPixel connector. This holds a one inch NeoPixel blade. Um, and then to get to the chassis, what you want to do is just unscrew the handle. You have a secondary pummel also that I'll show you here in a second. I made sure that these pummels are interchangeable so you didn't have to land on a particular choice. All right, well, we'll just unscrew this handle, pull it off. I went with kind of a simpler design on this chassis. I just wanted to mimic the shape of the handle. So that's what I did here and carried it over. All right, um, you've got a 28 millimeter speaker right here. This is a Smuggler's Outpost Elite version, um, a removable battery setup like I like to do, and then your CFX right here. So easy access to both your SD card, your micro USB, but you can basically do everything from the SD card. All right, you can pop it in and out from here and you're good to go. This has been updated to the latest firmware. It does have motion controls. Um, the chassis retention. Now the chassis retention is actually this aluminum piece right here for the switches. Uh, I made a hole in the actual chassis, so I slid the chassis in. I press fit this guy in and that's what's holding the chassis. So I did not glue that. Um, it's a nice tight press fit, holds everything together. All right, so let's go ahead and throw a battery in this guy real quick. When you're putting a battery in, because this sticks out kind of far, I usually just take my time and make sure I'm holding it with my hand as I slap the battery in like that. Everything's snapped in place nice and tight. We can come over here and throw our handle on. It goes right on, all right. Lock that all the way down, we're good to go. Now you can come over here and hit the front switch for power. So your LEDs are lighting up there. Auxiliary in the back. And then you can tap it again to turn it off. Or if you don't want to do that, you can twist it and then twist it again and turn it off just like that all right and then we will take this pummel off real quick this is the new one that you had sent to me so that one fits on there nice or if you want uh, you can take the old one that you had sent with the actual saber and you can throw this one on too so you just screw that one right on everything, everything works fine there All right, your blade retention screw is this brass knurled knob right here. So that's very nice. You don't have to drill into anything. So we'll just back that up a little bit. Uh, we'll put a blade in because this blade is so long or this hilt is so long, especially I'm going to use my TriStar blade, uh, but it is set up for a full length blade. All right. So you'll feel it bounce on the pins. We'll just hold that down and lock it in. Flash on crash. Blaster bolt is tapping. The blade lockup is holding the auxiliary button down. Now, on this particular firmware and this setup to change sound fonts quickly. When the saber's off, you can just hold the power button down and hit the saber. Nebula. You just switch sound fonts, right? Again. Nebula. One more time. Granny. To um, change color, you'll hold down the aux and twist the saber. Spectrum. You'll hear spectrum, and then you can go ahead and just turn the saber to whatever you like. We'll find a blue. 
I'm gonna hit power, right? Now we got a blue blade. You also have several different blade styles. So again, hold down the ox and twist the saber, but then this time keep the button held down. Keep holding it. Blade profile. So again, you can twist the saber. Every time it clicks, it's a different blade effect, right? If we like this one, we'll hit power. So now we have a blue blade that flickers. You've got several different options on there, so you can play around with it and just see what you like. All right. So again, twist to the right, turns it on, twist to the right, turns it off. Just like that. All right, we'll go ahead and take the blade out of here. Pop that right out. CFX does have a deep sleep, but if you want to take the battery out, again, we'll just come over here and take our handle out. Off, rather, sorry. All the machining is very nice from Custom Saber Shop, so the threads are nice. They don't need any lube or anything like that. But come over here from the positive side by your speaker. And you should be able to pop your battery out with your hand just like that. Um, and that is basically your cross guard. So I hope that you like the way that turned out. Um, I did not glue down any of these modular pieces. And I'll show you which pieces, right? I just hand cranked them as tight as I could. So this piece is a separate piece. It joins right here. No, there's no glue, right? You come over here. This piece on the very tip right here is a separate piece, also not glued, just hand cranked. And lastly, your cross guard section, um, I'm going to take it off like this. So that I can easy, I, I can more easily pack this in a box and have it shipped. It's easier to pack like this than it is something like this. All right. So yeah, none of these pieces were glued on. I just cranked them as hard as I could with my hand. So just want to be mindful for that. All right. So yeah, that's basically your cross guard. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll get this out in the mail to you today. Thanks.